It's a box. No one would ever say that's not a box. That's a box. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage. And today I thought it'd be really fun to do kind of a day in the life, kind of a windowed view of what I do in a day, a typical day. I am so happy to not have to do the same exact thing every single day, which is sort of by design, sort of just how it is with reselling. So today is mostly a day where I'm not really gonna go out much. I'm gonna spend it inside, no thrifting, none of that. Uh, so what that means is I've got video editing to do, I've got listings to do, I've got orders to do, uh, just prep work, things like that. But um, so, it's about 10 a.m. right now. I've already gotten quite a few things done. So I wake up generally between 7 and 8 a.m. Don't use an alarm or anything like that. I just kind of, whenever I feel like it. So 7 or 8, somewhere in there, I take my shower. I like to take a shower first off in the morning so that I feel fresh and just energized and ready, ready for anything for the day. So I do that. I feed the dog. And then it just depends after that point. But today, we're gonna to talk about today only. So I did a little editing. I just returned back from my trip up north to visit Ashley. So that's like three videos I did with her. So I was doing a little editing today. About an hour later, I was able to get one video edited completely. And then after that, it's just a matter of saving the video down and then uploading it to YouTube and writing uh, the preliminary information so that it's ready to go. Uh, and then I'll schedule it later today. I'll go through and I'll set the monetization, I'll set the end screen, I'll do all of those things later on. After I worked on the first video, I went ahead and replied to comments for about 10 minutes or so. and I try to keep on top of the comments multiple times a day. That way it's not all at one time because it could easily go quite a while um, looking at all of it. I love getting comments and responding. It's just, I need to stay, make sure I kind of take care of it throughout the day. So I worked on that for a little bit. And then by the time I got done working on the comments, uh, I did sit, sit there for like five minutes or whatever and just kind of do nothing really. And then I went back and worked on the second video and I saved down the second video. So it's about 10 a.m. now. So I've got two videos edited. Um, I still have to finish all of the other things with the video, making sure that it goes up and everything and scheduled. But right now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is work on my orders that need to be shipped out today. So I have been selling a lot of my tote bags. Uh, they were launched a couple days ago. So I'm going to need to restock one of the types of bags because it has been selling pretty good. And it will heat up to about 330 degrees. Here are the bags that I've got. I ordered these in bulk. These are the khaki natural colored ones, but the ones I need to actually do are these navy ones. So I'm gonna press about five of them so that I have them ready to go. Design that's gonna be used is actually the no chips, no cracks. So these are transfers and they are screen printed. They're screen printed and then all I've gotta do is press them with the heat press. Alright, so I've got my bags made up and we are headed down to the basement so that I can work on my orders. So my Etsy room is right over here. I've got extra paper that I use for packaging and this is my Etsy room. I open up my little computer here. I use this just for the business and that way I have everything kind of down here ready for me. So I've got a printer and the netbook and 
we're good to go. Okay, so I'm signed into my Etsy account and then I'll just go over and click orders to see what I've got today. It shows that I've got 14 orders, so that's nice. Oh, and then somebody is asking me a question. Uh-oh, it says, hi, I realized I only received four butterflies instead of five. Do you have the fifth? Okay, well, that's no good. Um, usually all things are kept together. Let's see if this is it. Okay, I found the fifth butterfly. So these were all in a pile, and I had both piles setting beside each other. So this one here is the one that she needs. So I am going to let her know that I have it and then I can just send that to her. I did a search on my, my store to see what other butterflies I had to make sure that I was all organized. And so I've got two sets that are kind of identical. So I can go ahead and go back to my messages and let her know that I do have the fifth. All right, so I mostly have a lot of orders of bags, tote bags, so I'm going to go ahead and work on getting those. I'm looking for a toothpick holder, which should be over here. I mean, it, I, I feel like it should be like right in here. Oh boy, where would that thing be? So it's just a carnival glass toothpick holder. Oh, here it is. It's by the dogs and the fish. Reach in there. I forgot I had that carnival glass tumbler, tumbler back there. Okay, so I've got the carnival glass toothpick holder. So that's one item. And then they want an art deco tear off thing, which I've just got over here. Only a few left. I've got my blankets down in these totes, so I'm looking for a blue striped one. There, or no, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. It's right there. I didn't know that I was out of that one already. That means I'm gonna have to wait to do this order. I'm gonna have to make some more of those bags. I should have realized I was low on the other two. That's a shame because the heat press is already turned off. So I'll turn it back on. Okay, and then I sold two. Oh, wow. Wow, okay, I didn't realize this. One person bought three Art Deco planners which is interesting. That means I'm like almost out of them. So one person bought one and the another person, another person bought three. Oh, okay, they're sold out. <laughs> nice. All gone. So Lois, she bought three and, oh, that's a different name. P-A-L-L-A-S, Palace. Yeah, Palace bought the other one. Um, my brain's not working, why? Oh, it's because it's thicker. It's like, that's not lining up right. Do a double fold, basically, there we go. I'm also gonna go ahead and package up the single butterfly that I need to send that person. So I've been using them uh, for th for times whenever I have light light items. All right, so that pretty much filled it up. I'm just gonna nestle this butterfly right on in there. Why not? I'll just use this bag. <laughs> So the other thing that I need to remember to do is get a cracker tin from upstairs. I forgot to bring it down with me originally, but I did sell a cracker tin. And let's see, right over here on the 
counter. Okay, so for this Cracker 10, it's pretty much lightweight. Let's see what it weighs by itself. 10.3, yikes. Okay, so that's a little bit more than I was expecting because that means we've got about five ounces to work with for a box. So let me show you, for instance, what one of these is. So this one here, that's four and a half right there. And this is not really the size that we need. So I was thinking I was gonna use a box that I had over here. Maybe I don't have anything. No, I guess I don't. That sucks, okay. Um, well, here's my other idea. I'll cut this box down the seam and just wrap it around it. Maybe that'll work. Okay, because it's like metal, I don't really worry about anything breaking. What I'm gonna do is just cut along there. So now it's an open box. And then I can just wrap it, right? Does that work? How does that work? That works pretty good. Put some tape on it and call it a day. Okay, that's looking good. We're, we're, we're killing it, right? It's a box. No one would ever say that's not a box. I'm gonna put one more going down the seam here. Just to tie it all together. Okay. Let's see what we weigh. I hope it's under a pound. If it's not, I'm gonna cry because that was a lot of effort for that. <laughs> okay, so we've got a cute little cube going on and it weighs 14.7. Wow, that is outstanding. So I'm like a whole ounce under, that's cool. All right, so I'm gonna put that down as 15 ounces and I can now ship it first class. All right, now it's time to purchase the shipping labels. So this one is the Noel set and it's coming up three ounces because I have shipped this one before and it is three ounces. So I just have to click get rates. I'm using pirate ship, by the way. I have a whole separate video on this. If you're, uh, that didn't go. If you're not familiar, hello, what's going on? There we go. If you're not familiar with pirate ship and um, yeah, it does, it does good stuff. It's a good, good thing. Okay, so the shipping on the magnets is $2.66, my cost because I bundle the shipping in, by label, and that one is good to go. So now I can go back to ship over here. I should use my, my the right hand. Okay, next up is this one for Lois. This would be the three Art Deco notepads. So that one, I've got all of them right there. Although Lois, this is over here. So that measures 15, or that's 15 and a half, and it measures nine by five by two, nine, five, two, 15 and a half. So I just gotta put that in there. Nine, here, nine, five, two, then ounces is 15.5, see? And then, Scroll down and click get rates. It shows shipping at $5.24 for the notepads. I'll click buy label. I have 14 of them ready to go. Uh, and while I went upstairs, I turned on the heat press again so that I can um, go back up there and do that once these are done. So I went ahead and hit print. So now this is going to start printing off my labels. All right, I use these labels right here. They are the sticky labels and one hand is hard to do but the printer's going nuts. It's like, no paper. I think we're good. So, let's see. Most of them are printed though. So I went ahead and printed off the two labels that I did not have. This one was a redo. I had to print a label off and send it to this customer for the butterfly. That ended up costing about $3 and some change. And then this one here uh, was the item I sold, not on Etsy. So, um, what a mess. I'll fix that later. So, I'm gonna go get the tote bags made. I had the heat press going 
upstairs. I'll make five more of these khaki ones with the, uh, which one? With the logo on them. Yeah. And that proves to be just what it needs. Beautiful. All right, it's powered down. I've got transfers all over the floor. Okay, so I've got about five more of those ready to go. We'll take those downstairs and finish our packing. All right, I've got the rest of the labels printing now and my big pile right here of them. So I'm gonna go back to Etsy to look to see who everybody is. This can go slide in there. This is now trash. We'll just throw it like that. Okay, good. We're making good progress now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the post office. It's just a little bit after noon. So they're gonna be open until one. Gotta slip on some shoes for that. And uh, then I'm right back here home and I'll have a little bite to lunch, watch a little I Love Lucy. Let the dog go to the bathroom real quick while I am loading my boxes. Go ahead, Stell. Okay, or just stand there. <laughs> okay, I've got the items loaded there. And is she done? Oh, Stella. What are you doing? Well, it's really nice out. Wow, it's so windy that my chime is actually working. This is the one that I made. It usually doesn't work. Because it's like so bulky, you know? My other ones are going wild. And the chimes go wild. All right, let her finish. Okay. Wow, that looks like a mess. So it just occurred to me to actually use one of my totes for all of these things, like all these little boxes. So I have a tote bag, I'll use that. And then I also need to go to the bank, got a check right here. Um, can you put that in the vintage account? There you go. All right, thanks. Okay, that was fun. Little bank moment. Um, okay, now I can go home. Yay, we can go home. No, the whole outing wasn't that long, really. It was like 20 minutes less. Cool. It's about 12.30 now and I'm gonna go in. Oh, hi, Stella. She's there to greet me. Stella, what are you doing? Hmm? I know. Life is tough being a dog. Okay, so I've got the bread, and then I have my shredded chicken, and a little bit of an apple that's been in the refrigerator for like, I don't know, a few days now. All right, we've got the bread. All I really did was just boil it and then shredded it. Um, since this is all that's left, I'm just gonna use this to put the dressing into it. Just squeeze it on in there, there we go. 
And then the apple, I've got to cut up. Is this apple still good? No, it's not. That's, that's disgusting. That's not going to happen. All right, that was in there for literally almost a week. Okay, so I've got my bread, my apple, my knife is over here. Let's get that bread off a little bit. That should do it. Let's toss this. Does that fit? Barely. <laughs> Doesn't really fit. There's a gap, but I'll cut into it tomorrow and then it'll fit. For the rest of the apple, I'm just gonna slice it to death that way. We've got apples, slices and stuff in here. I am just chopping it like there's no tomorrow. Just chop, chop, chop. I know, I'm definitely not cutting this like I should, because I don't know how to cut it, and I don't really care. Okay, let's just, whoa now, guys. Put the apple friends in with the chicken friends. Mix those together. Boy, does that look good, we say. Yep, we do, we say it all the time. I think we need a little bit of salt and pepper. Just like that much. Mix it together. I don't think I salted the chicken at all. And the first time I had this, I was like, this is bland. It's amazing what salt and pepper will do. Just go to town. Okay, that looks really good. Five star. Get on the bread. Just get on. It does look a little unappetizing. I'll make it look better. I'm gonna shape it better on the bun. Here, let's just put it, we'll just see. It's looking better already. Anything that falls on the counter is Stella's. She's happy when that happens. All right, that's about as good as it's gonna get, right like that, which is okay. I mean, it's, a, it's really okay. Now go ahead and cut that in half with the knife. Okay, I, and this is where I would go sit down and eat, so I'll do that. By the way, this is not all I'm gonna eat. I will have yogurt in just a bit, but I'm gonna eat this first. I'll have an apple, have some chicken. Whoop, just hit you in the head. Here, I'll give you another little bit of an apple. Stella, would you like a piece of an apple? Oh, you missed, or I missed. Beautiful, what's in front of you? Get that right there. You're not even paying attention. There you go, that's how you do it. You gotta look around. All right, now it's time for a little I Love Lucy. I've got my little remote here, which I'll talk about because this is different than what you're expecting. So we do not have cable, we do not have satellite. What we do have is the antenna. So this is coming in free over the air. So CBS, I guess, I guess a soap opera. But what I'm gonna do is click on the DVR button because we do have a DVR. So, I know you're like, how in the world do you have a DVR and over the air antenna? Well, I will tell you. So, I bought this for like $100, and then um, it allows me to record things that come over the TV. So, as you can see, I've got lots of I Love Lucy's. This is free, there's no monthly fee or anything for it, but you do pay when you buy the darn thing. So I paid, I think new they're like 150, but I found someone on Facebook Marketplace selling it for 100 used for this unit. It's this thing right here. It's called Channel Master. It's by Channel Master. It's called the Stream Plus. It's this thing. That little box over there is the exter external hard drive. So you do need to supply that and that's like another 70 bucks. So all in, if you can get a good deal, you can do it for about $200 and then you're good to go for indefinitely, really, because, well, I mean, you have to have an antenna outside, and we do. We have an antenna outside, and it comes into the house, and it's split to all the rooms. Now I've got my chicken, which reminds me, I've also got tags there. I need to do another video after I get done. So I will watch I Love Lucy now. It's a great system. See, it's very nice, and the dog just, she loves it too. Watch. By the way, with this, you can also, you can fast forward, obviously, 
but you can also, I'll pause it, you can pause live TV as well. So you've got all the capabilities. All right, then. All right, for my second course, I'm gonna go ahead and have yogurt. So I've got these frozen cherries that I will use. Greek yogurt back here. Hi, Greek. How you doing? So all I gotta do is take these frozen cherries and put them in a bowl. Then we'll put them in the microwave. Oh, I think I need another 15 seconds. Ready to go. They're not necessarily hot or cold. They're just kind of defrosted. Got Lucy playing in the background. Four or five dollops will do it. There we go. And then mix it together. Back in the refrigerator. Boy, that looks delightful. All right, so I finished lunch. I've got Lucy going, but I have it muted so that I can look at these tags because I do need to go through them. So what I like to do before I do a video like this, going over like numbers and things, I go through all of the tags and organize them in a way that makes sense for just me. All right, so I've got these kind of organized in some sort of a fashion that I think will work for the video. But right now what I'm gonna do is actually go through and add up the items that were in the 50s booth. Out of 472 in sales, we'll clear that out. Out of 472.15, we can subtract 74 point, uh, whoops, point 75. So that means the other two spaces brought in $397.40, wow. I just finished my video and I'm gonna go ahead and put all my tags back in this envelope and file that away. I'm thinking about actually filming another haul video because my surgery is the day after tomorrow. And I think I need to get that. I, I need, I just feel a little underprepared. So obviously I think the day of the surgery, I'm not gonna really be doing anything. I don't know, maybe I will, but I just would feel better if I had things a little bit more organized. I'm gonna do my haul video downstairs for a change. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't really get a whole lot. So these are the things that I picked up whenever I was with Ashley up north. And I didn't get much because the prices just weren't great. And I do have a principled approach to it. I don't want to overspend. So this is all I got. Yeah, I think this will be fun. So I'll set up my stuff right here and I can do a video. This fabric, that don't look good. There. All right, there it is, my sad little haul. <laughs> and I got my tripod. Um, oh, I need my camera, or I need my phone. So what I do before a haul video is research anything that I need to, like the price or whatever. Uh, for instance, this is an, a Namaji vase. It's sort of a souvenir type thing that they would do. And, uh, but I'm not sure about the value of something like that. So I would need to look All that right, up. So I just finished my video. Now what I'm gonna do is actually load these items back into the tote and then take them upstairs where I can remove the price things and wipe them all down. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off these items. These, however, there's lots of dirt all over that nut right there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, on top you can really tell. Yeah, it's coming off really well as you can see. So uh, what I basically do is I just make sure there's no price tags and anything on the stuff. Wipe it all down. After everything's washed, then it'll be the next step where I enter these in to the computer so that they have titles. The next step involves me actually writing out the title on the computer. So I've got my little Chromebook here, and the first item up is this uh, soap dish. So I'm gonna go ahead and write in the title that I want him to use. So I'll just copy and paste this. But this is a vintage green cactus soap dish. 
Um, then we'll also like to put on here Texas Cactus Arizona uh, Cactus. Some of this is a little bit repetitive. Comma Cowboy Cactus. <laughs> So that's about all I can think to say about something like this. Uh, vintage green cactus soap dish, Texas cactus, Arizona cactus, cowboy cactus. And then in parentheses, I'll give him notes. So if there's any condition issues he should be aware of or anything I else, anything else I want him to stress in the listing, as well as the date. All right, so it is about 2.30 now. We're doing pretty good on the day. I think I actually wanna get away from the house for a change and go walk the trail with Stella. So let's do that. Come on, Stella. Oh my, are you excited? You excited to go on the trail? I bet you are. You love going on the trail. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. My, wait a minute, Stella, I need my keys. Okay, let's go. Still, back up, back up, back. Go. Stella, get over there. Get in the passenger seat. You're a passenger. You're a passenger. Okay, the trail is literally just right down the street, so it's not a big deal, but calm down. She gets so excited. All right, let's go. And she is ready to go take a tinkle. She usually does right here. This is one of my favorite things to do though. I love, come on Stella. She never walks at the pace that I prefer. She's always stopping and smelling the ground. Come on Stella. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, sometimes I don't take her here. Sometimes I just walk myself. Really, Stella, come on. And They've got a, a lot of nice things over here. So they got like a few bridges. They put these walnuts, I guess they are, <laughs> along the, the beams. She's acting like that thing's gonna eat her. Come on. If I start running, she'll have to run with me. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Stell. There goes a squirrel running. <laughs> she saw it. Did she roll in something? Oh my God, are those those sticky things? Oh good, no, they're just, they're just a mess. That's what they are. They're just a mess. There's some more of them. These little pecans, I guess, that's what they are. Oh, it's called the prairie area is what it's called. But then they have, up here is funny, it's called an insect hotel. Uh, yeah, usually whenever the weather's nice, which I'm already missing, Whenever like it's warm, you'll have like bees and wasps. You'll see them flying around in here. Um, insect hotel, so that's where they live, I guess, right there. Uh, but nothing's going on. Everything's like dead. Darn it. Just got home. It's about three o'clock and I'm just gonna sit down and relax a little bit. So uh, I need to check the comments again. about 3.30 and I just finished doing the comments again, responding to those. And I sat here for like 15 minutes just kind of thinking about what I wanted to do today. I think honestly what I feel like doing is just cleaning, just, just doing like general cleaning. And then tomorrow I can start off fresh and edit two more videos. Oh, I think I need to, yeah, tomorrow I can do that. And then work on getting everything kind of organized for the next few days, because then this next weekend, I'll be able to be caught up with my videos. They'll be scheduled. And then this, so we're talking Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I can be out like in the world and doing stuff. And that's whenever I'll be making new content for the most part. So I can go thrifting and shopping and everything this coming weekend. Uh, that way I'm not, 
like bombarded with like all of this other kind of stuff. So I basically, I sort of like to do all the stuff that you saw today. That realm of stuff, editing, filming, the set down videos and stuff throughout the week. And then I do all of my outside sourcing and everything on the weekends. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this chicken out so that it will thaw. And that way I can cook it tomorrow. I won't be eating chicken for lunch tomorrow, unfortunately, because it's gonna be frozen, I'm sure, which is fine. I could take a break from the chicken. Oh my gosh, I just realized that I forgot to take these out of the water last night. Ugh. I hate when I do that. So you're only supposed to soak them for like an hour once a week. Darn it. I'm no good with plants. I either water them or drown them. These are those air plants. So they say you can spritz them with water, but I think the what people mostly do is the uh, soaking method where you just soak them. Ugh, geez Louise, I hope I didn't drown them. That's so unfortunate. So the thing about these, I bought them to resell them in, uh, I was gonna resell them by putting them in like little teacups and selling them that way, but they just weren't selling. So, uh, they're basically now in my window. Like I said, I hope they dry out a little bit. Okay, so now I can do the dishes. Let's see, that's not something I use. We don't really drink out of those. These plates over here are actually the ones that I'm selling. I'm gonna put those online. Yeah, that's what those are. So, they can be listed now that they're clean. I mean, they were really already clean, but they had the Goodwill stickers on them, so. Now they're ready. So actually, I'm gonna add those to the list, to Aaron's list, and then he can photograph those tonight as well. All right, so I just finished the dishes and I went ahead and put those plates and things like that on Aaron's list so he can do that either tonight or tomorrow. Um, I'm pretty much done with my day, I think. Like, I will continue to do things here and there throughout the night, which is basically the stuff that I've already told you. Like, I'm gonna check comments again tonight, maybe around the eight o'clock hour, and then I might maybe do some editing or something on the computer but for the most part, I think that's pretty much gonna be the whole gist of the day. So I would rather end it off now whenever we still have the sun out, but it's about, it's about four o'clock. So let's just end it here. Anyways, hopefully you liked that and you got a good thrill, I don't know. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.